Instant. If you need any MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes as well, make sure you go and check out G2A.com. Their link's also there. And we'll try and smash for 3,000 likes, guys. That'd be absolutely awesome. So I want to know your top 10s as well, whether they be from um, the Bundesliga yesterday. Go and watch that video. Tell me what your top 10 is from that league. And what players you're looking forward to from the BPL in this video. So, my top 10 players... Well, not top 10. Just the 10 players I want to... And I'm going to be looking forward to playing with next season. Ah... Di Maria. Number one, he I, I would recommend him I real well, I reckon he's gonna be my number one player next year from the from the BPL. I reckon he'll hold his high rating as well. Maybe even move into the central position because we don't know how Manchester United are gonna utilise him. He played against Burnley at the weekend and he was in a central role, but who knows whether he does keep that or Van Gaal does actually change up the Manchester United formation, obviously making his card change as well. The next one is Daniel Sturridge, but there's a reason I've chose Daniel Sturridge, not because he's fast, not because he's good at shooting, but his strike partner, Mario Balotelli. So, storage, he's going to be fast, he's going to be strong, he's going to be rapid and good at shooting. Then you've got Mario Balotelli, who's used and probably is going to get downgraded as well because he didn't really have a decent performance with uh, AC Milan last season, but he is strong, can hold up the ball well, and he holds back and he can use him to uh, link up well with Daniel Sturridge. So that's three of them so far, Di Maria, Sturridge and Balotelli. The next one is Cahill, and it's Gary Cahill from Chelsea. I reckon he's going to get, be getting a decent upgrade, decent pace upgrade as well. Did have a shit World Cup, but the whole of the England team did have a shit World Cup anyway. Um, and I reckon John Terry's going to be seeing his way out. Unfortunately, David Luiz is not there next season in the BPL, unless he decides to make a fucking U-turn and come back, but I doubt that's going to happen very much. So Cahill's going to be strong, fast, tall, and he's going to be dangerous from corners and uh, a decent player, hopefully, in the game. It depends how the game mechanics do work, but he's definitely one of the top defenders I'm looking forward to using. The next one is Philippe Louis. He's obviously getting a strong link with Gary Cahill as well. Um, in the left-back position, he's going to be quite fast. I reckon he's going to get a bit of an upgrade because, obviously... Um, Atletico Madrid did have a cracking season last season. Uh, Semi-finalists of... No, actually finalists of the Champions League. Won La Liga and uh, he was uh, a key factor to that. And as you can tell, Chelsea went in and took a few of their key players back. Like Courtois, Luis and also Diego Costa. The next one, uh, sticking with the Atletico raid, was uh, Diego Costa. He's going to be fucking awesome. Strong fast and a decent header of the ball he does not look his age as well that's one thing man a lot of people don't look their age but i reckon he's going to be um and it well after what's what's seen his last rating was it was 85 rated i reckon he's going to be a decent striker in the bpl if not one of the best um a lot cheaper than uh, some of the players like Van Persie and stuff who I'm not looking forward to using just because i don't really like left footed players and Van Persie this year was a big disappointment to me when using him the next one is Cesc Fabregas. We are seeing a lot of Chelsea players in here, but Chelsea have got a nice stack of players. Cesc Fabregas, when I'm playing with him this year for, in the Chelsea, best possible Chelsea team, he was good at passing, decent finishing. The only thing which did lack on him was his pace, and hopefully EA don't uh, like ram him right down and ruin his pace, but I reckon he could be a lot like uh, Xavi Alonso was uh, for Real Madrid this season in the game itself. None of these um, faces, stats, or anything like that, guys, are final, as you can see in the bottom corner. Um, but I do like to give you a visual representation of what could be happening. Even the stats of all the players might be out now and you guys might have seen it before me. They are coming. I'm not sure when they are coming. As you know, I'm out in America now. And um, yeah, I'm just giving you a bit of a heads up that the stats are coming. And when you do, you'll be able to see your top 10. But definitely list your top 10 down below. Uh, I'll be interested in seeing them. The next one is Sanchez for Arsenal. I reckon he's going to be a right wing. He seems to be playing there uh, currently for Arsenal uh, with them even having Giroud out and stuff this team still don't seem to be playing him at the striker position he's going to be fast he, he's going to be quite cheap as well unless he get, does get a massive stat upgrade which I can't see happening um, but he's going to be fast he's got decent skills decent shooting and he's rapid rapid players are the players I'm looking forward to just because you know how sweaty I am at FIFA whether it be uh, a new game I'm going to find uh, a way to abuse that as well just because I like winning the next one and the final two is Didier Drogba He's going to be absolutely ridiculous. He's strong, got a decent shot on him. His pace might get dipped down a lot. And he is a backup player for uh, for Chelsea as well with Diego Costa leading the line. But the strong links you'll be able to get to, get to him now are ridiculous. He, he was very limited in what he could do last year with um, him being stuck at Galatasaray. And Galatasaray being the only uh, Turkish team in the game. But obviously, EA have got the Turkish league rights now. But he's come back over to Chelsea. And I reckon he's going to be a very uh, well-used 
privileged player and I'm looking forward to seeing how he does operate in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. And the final one is Mangala, the Manchester City new signing centre-back. Um, he's fast. He's fast, he's strong, and he's got decent positioning. Some of the stats, um, he, he might be a decent partner to uh, Gary Cahill, actually. But obviously, there's going to be a lot of players we do find, whether it be the likes of Kabul, Kyle Walker and whatnot. We, us guys are going to find them, but until then, we can only speculate speculate about what players are going to look forward to using. And they, they were my top 10 guys. Let me know in the comment section below what your top 10 are, and uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a like, rate, and subscribe, comment. And until next time, guys, see you all later. Have a very, very nice day.